Find out what it would be like if you lived here. All right, welcome to house number one. This house was built in 1923. And this home has a beautiful garden. These owners had planted not only the garden, but the garden flows out onto the streets and uh, really welcomes you into this home. And you'll see in this neighborhood a mixture of row houses, detached houses, bungalows, Victorians. We really have an eclectic mix. And this is an example of a classic Brooklyn row house. Well, I can't wait to look inside. Me too. All, All right. right, I'll see you all back. All OK, right. sounds good. Did you catch the rain barrel in the back there? I did notice that. I love how they kind of hit it and decoupaged mm -hmm. it. I feel like there's so much out here before we even get into the house. It's not just the color blue on this house, right, which is right. fantastic, you know? Did you catch the two little guys on the each side? The gargoyles mm -hmm. up there. And here's the projector of the house. You know, <laughs> it seems welcoming as well. And I love this bright yellow door. Talk about color, right. well, there's more than the yellow door. Probably the most colorful home we've seen so I think far. so, and you know, your eye is completely drawn to the tile up the stairs. Yeah, that Spanish Mediterranean tiles. I like them in this house because it goes with all the color. They also kept the oak woodwork. Yes. Which is a really nice blend of the old with very eclectic. The eclectic new, no, I think mm -hmm. that's the story of this house. Mm -hmm. Good bones yep. this house has. And looks like the living room has good bones, too. You've got nice windows letting lots of natural light. And you know what I think is a neat little feature? What? They just have wainscoting right here. Yeah. But I love the, what they did here because it's just a little accent piece. Yeah, and I would carry it around the whole room. OK, so we're entering the dining room. And boy, they've maximized space in here. I like this modern puzzle light in this room. Mm -hmm. It's about that eclectic, you know, modern mixed with the old. Mm -hmm. This is genius. Do you realize how many sunglasses I lose throughout the year? Uh, I do. I think this whole shutter idea to hold them is clever. OK, into the kitchen. Uh, okay. First thing we notice is this. You know, they used to have doors on this, so they've taken them off and opened it up. And they put in that great wallpaper in the back. Now, this is a typical, uh, what I would call the galley kitchen. Yes. Look how great this looks. Mm -hmm. But it's more on the economical side because they've painted the cabinets. And the wallpaper is the backsplash. And they also utilize the space because they put in a corner sink, which gives you more counter space. Sure does. And I think it feels just great in here because of these doors to the porch. It does lighten Makes it up. Makes the space a lot lighter, brighter, and to that very nice backyard. OK. Later, later, but let's things continue. Things to come, things to come. So. Right here. Probably cause, oh. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, rubber ducky oven. <laughs> you know what? I, I know you're gonna say this quacks. This boy, quacks me up. <laughs> but aside from the ducks, nice powder room on the first floor. <laughs> what powder room? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, by the ducks. It's, it's yeah. Messy. There you go. All right, the color tour continues. How great is this? I know. A little tape, a little paint. What oh, you yeah. can do? They did a nice job. Cool effects. Okay, so we have. Oh. oh, this goes back further than I would have thought. For a house full of color, this is a pretty vanilla basement. But I think for a basement, you always want to go light, especially when there's not a lot of windows. Sure, absolutely. But there is a little pop of color, right? They managed to get a stripe of yellow. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go check up the upstairs. This obviously had to be here when we walked in. Another How did cool we light. miss it? How did you miss it? Because this is your favorite style. There was a lot to look at. OK, where should we start? How about to the right? This end? OK. Full bath. So that is two and a half bathrooms so mm -hmm. far. And it's probably the only bathroom on this floor, I would guess. Well, let's check out this right. room. This Good is, size. It is. I had really thought that a wall was going to be right here. Well, there probably was back in 1923. OK, and I have to check. You know what? This is another full bath. OK, three, three and a half. Three baths in this home. That's great. These are smart mm -hmm. homeowners. You know what I'm going to call this house? What's that? The house of ideas, because everywhere you look, you're like, oh, that's a great idea. That is another great <laughs> idea. I think this answers the question to the style. Yep. Definitely an artist. <laughs> but it's a really good size bedroom. It is. Mm -hmm. Art studio, bedroom, all right. And then bedroom number three, bedroom, office. You know, we look at a lot of places that have three bedrooms, and that third bedroom is tiny. Yeah. You could actually fit a bed into this could, one. Wow, it's an actual bedroom. Right, right. Because some of them are really small. <laughs> some push the limits. <laughs> but for a home that year, yeah. 
I'm a little surprised. This has been a fun tour. Mm -hmm. hey. Jake. Now, welcome to the beautiful backyard. And this should be no surprise for how creative the inside of the house was, that they would have a very creative back patio area, too. I thought this was just, when we were inside the house, just one big yard. That's actually the alley right there. They cut out some of the harsh concrete. It was so successful, it spread into the neighbor's yard. They took down the fence to the alley, too, because all the neighbors have fences. Tear down those walls. <laughs> These people are creative in every sense of the word. And you'll notice here, to get more space to the house, these would have originally been a back patio, a uh, sleeping porch up top. Oh, that's it. Sleeping porch. It provides a more interior space, and yeah. they mm -hmm. put in central air. That makes perfect sense. Oh, that but... makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. OK, let me give you the details. Three bedroom, three and a half bath, built in 1923, approximately 1,400 square feet, with off-street parking. What's your guess? All right, Jake. Um, I'm going to give you a very flat boring number in a box. I'm going to say this place is worth 700000 No. Yeah. That was my number. <laughs> Shocking. We're flat together number. way too much. Uh, I'm going to go a little higher at $725,000. I would have done the same. The actual list price of this home will be $749. Well, you got oh, closer. Okay. All right. Congratulations. I'm excited to show you the next house, another quintessential Brooklyn house just down the street, so we can walk there. And okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do it.